and equip. Welcome to another division guide. Today's guide is on the elite enemies outside of the dark zone. In this episode we will talk about where to find them and the quickest way to find and kill them. There are 15 elite enemies outside of the dark zone. They can be cleared in less than an hour in a solo run and it rewards you with at least 30 pieces of gear and at least 90 phoenix credits depending on your luck because they can drop between 6 and 7 phoenix credits per kill the bosses that is note that this is all on the fifth world tier one problem is the respawn timer they take longer to respawn than the time it takes to clear them all try it after an incursion a survival run or some missions personally we start our run in the north on the left side of the dark zone and work our way around it. This is because it's the easiest one to check if they respawned. So we start with Bullet King. For Bullet King you want to fast travel to Autumn's Hope safe house. Walk out the safe house and take a right until you reach the street and go left. The first junction you run into after this is where you'll find Bullet King and his dogs. There are some vantage points but since he isn't very hard to take down if you're decently built they aren't worth mentioning. Next up is Soretto. Soretto is a heavy cleaner, so focus on the gas tanks on his side and back. The quickest way to get to him is to fast travel to Amherst's apartment mission. Don't start the mission, but go left when facing the mission entrance and take the first street on the right. After about 100 meters you'll find a playground and a basketball court where Soretto is hanging around with his blaze squad. Next up is Strings. For this guy we recommend walking back instead of going left to Amherst's apartment go straight onto the junction until the railway is on your left. Go down the stairs where you'll find Strings. For snipers you can actually stay up the stairs and kill most of them. This way you can benefit of the elevated talent on the M700. Next up is Erskine. For this boss you want to fast travel to Kerman Station safe house. Leave through the subway station exit and go up the stairs. Once you are on ground level, turn around and walk around the escalators, because the quickest route is behind you. There's a pile of boxes that lets you climb over the roof of a building. From there on keep following the road until it bends to the right. This is the road where you'll find it. A problem we've run into with Erskine is that the NPCs in the garage on your right are close by and are also triggered once you engage him. Occasionally you have to clear them to fast travel away. Now for the only elite enemies that keeps himself underground. Fumes. For this one you want to fast travel to the cavern safe house and head to the exit with the blue light. Take a left and climb up the ladders. Now before you head up to ground level you'll find a door on your left. Go through and follow the path until you reach the subway station. Take a right and flumes will spawn close by once you get close enough. Next up is Frey. For Frey you want to fast travel to the mission Hudson refugee camp. When facing the entrance go left and follow the road straight ahead until you reach Pennsylvania Plaza. Take a left you will see the plaza on your right. Enter the plaza and Frey should be straight ahead from there on. Now for the next one you want to cross the plaza opposite from where you came from. Take a right once you reach the road and very quickly take a left into the alley. Then once you've reached the middle of the block turn left again in between the gardens. There you'll find the one named 5-0. Next up is Belzer. For this guy you want to fast travel to Napalm production site mission. When facing the mission entrance you want to head right and follow the road until you run into him. Now for the boss that is the longest walk of them all. Riot. For this one you want to fast travel to the last call safe house. And set your waypoint south on Union Square. A couple blocks to the west of the safe house. Riot doesn't have many companions which makes him an easy target. Next up is Chains. For this one you can either fast travel to the Ward's safe house or the Warren Gate power plant mission. We recommend you travel to the safe house. 
Once you leave the safe house, take two left turns. Then where the road takes a right, you keep going straight, onto the plaza. Go up the steps and turn left. At this point, Chains will come walking from your left, on the next turn. Chains is a heavy enemy with a light machine gun. Be careful, because you can't out-sustain him that easy. Next up is Corporal Wright. Fast travel to the Police Academy mission. Walk in the opposite direction of the mission entrance and take a left on the first junction. Left again on the next one and you'll find him hanging around on your left, around the workplace for cars. This is the most efficient approach in our opinion, though there are multiple options here. Next up is Sergeant Lewis. Fast travel to the Lexington Event Center mission. This time head into the mission zone without starting it and take a right. Then take a left on the second junction and you'll run into Sergeant Lewis after a while. Corporal Dorsman is the next in line to meet his maker. You want to fast travel to the grindhouse safe house. Leave the safe house and take a left and go right when you reach the road. Then head into the Queen's Tunnel Camp mission zone without starting it. Then take a left. Follow the road until you run into him. He tends to have a ton of NPCs around him, so don't be too aggressive on this one. The next and last fast travel is all the way in the north again. To clear the last two elite enemies, head to the firewall safe house to find Sergeant Jax. Leave the safe house and take a right. When you reach the road, take a left and follow the road until you run into him. For this guy, there's a nice vantage point on your right when you find the junction he's on. This vantage point is also elevated. For the next and final elite enemy, you don't have to fast travel. Instead, keep following the road as you were, just before you found Sergeant Jax. And take a left on the last junction. Then take the first possible right on the junction and follow the road until you run into Apollo. There's a nice vantage point on the right where you can go up the rope and benefit from the elevated weapon talent again. Of course, only if you have it. These were all the bosses, outside of the dark zone. The source that we've used is a screenshot of the map with all the locations on them. We'll put the link in the description so you guys can have a look yourselves. We hope you now have an overview of the location of the named enemies outside of the dark zone and the quickest way to find them. If you think you have a faster route or good tips and tricks, feel free to leave those in the comments. If we can gather enough, we might rework the video to improve the guide. Thank you very much for watching, and we hope to see you next time.